The massive Sizzle Season update was revealed today, and with it we got a whole bunch of information about new kits for Splatoon 3 weapons. I know for a lot of people this is definitely one of the most exciting parts about a new update, hoping for some really cool new kits. And of course, seeing which ones might be a little bit more controversial. Now at this current stage, we don't really have any details about which sub-weapons and specials these kits will have, as they were just shown off in Table Turf cards. Although I know a lot of you really like to predict what they're going to have, so definitely do that in the comment section because that's what I want to hear. But for now, we can at least take a look at which new kits we can expect to see in this update for sure, although there might even be another one as usually they do actually do 10 new kits per season as far as I'm aware. Starting us off, we have a kit for the Tentabrella, which is the Tentasorella Brella. Next, we have a kit for the Julie Squelchers, which is the Custom Julie Squelchers. Then we have a kit for the Tetra Julies, which will be the Light Tetra Julies. A kit for the Heavy Splatling, which will be the Heavy Splatling Deco. One for the H3 Nozzle Nose, which will be H3 Nozzle Nose D. Rapid Blaster Pro, and the kit will be the Rapid Blaster Pro Deco. Splatana Wiper will get a kit which will be the Splatana Wiper Deco, and from what people are saying, this one might actually have Squid Beacon, but definitely let me know your thoughts. Next, we have the Splattershot Nova, which is the Anarchy Splattershot Nova, and finally, we have the Big Swig, which is the Big Swig Roller Express, and people are saying that this could have Burst Bomb Point Sensor or Angle Marker. I'm personally hoping that it'll have Burst Bomb though. So yeah, definitely some really cool new kits here. I'm curious to see what specials and subs they will actually get. I apologize, but I'm definitely not the best at predicting these types of things. But the comment section is definitely a really good opportunity to do so, and I'd love to hear what you have to say. Like I said, we might expect to see one more as well that they haven't shown off yet, as in the past two updates, I believe we got 10 each. We'll most likely find out the information about what specials and subs these weapons have in the coming weeks over on Twitter, and I'm going to make a video about all of them, so if you want to stay up to date, then definitely make sure you've got notifications on. Anyways, if you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more. I'm trying to hit 30k subscribers before the end of the year, so I'd really appreciate your subscription.